And I'm Julia. And we are Growing Up Without Borders. And we would like to welcome you to St. Gallen, Switzerland. Our journey to St. Gallen started with a beautiful drive along Lake Zurich. We had the most amazing views of all the mountains all along the way till we got to the bottom of Mount Santis. We're about to go up Mount Santee. Looks like there's a lot of activities to do here. And we're just looking at the map. Where we're going today is all the way up to the very top of Mount Santee, it's called. So we're taking a big, huge cable car to go up. So we're about to go up Mount Santee. And to go up for adults, it's like 54, kids, 27. So here we go. And this cable car is absolutely massive. It never ceases to amaze me that at the top of every Swiss mountain, you're always going to find a restaurant, usually stores, and sometimes even hotels. Way over there in a distance, if you look really closely, you'll see a whole bunch of people literally walking on what looks to be a really steep cliff. So we decided to try a little bit of the scary walk ourselves. Julia and I walked along here and seriously, if you were to fall over, you'd go tumbling down really far. They have literally a museum about all the different mountains and the peaks and the weather and it's really cool. Of 
Okay, so right now we are checking in to a place. Looks like an apartment, but it's on a website called B&B Switzerland. And basically, well, you guys have heard of B&Bs before, um, but this one's like an apartment and um, they do include breakfasts at all of the B&Bs here. So we're in a little town near, I don't even know what town we're in. <laughs> we just followed the GPS to get here, but basically near St. Gallen. So we had a really good night's sleep at our B&B. Not all B&Bs are the same, so where we stayed is more like an apartment style. And then they have others, if you go on their website, B&B Switzerland, they're more like chalet styles and basically in the mountains and all different kinds of areas. So we're right now in a town called Gudingen. Gudingen. It's right on Lake Constance and uh, really close to St. Gallen. So here we're on the Swiss side and over there in a the distance, you will see over there that is Germany and we are on the Swiss side. And this is their little port here where they have all the sailboats and such. So moving right along, we're gonna go take you on a beautiful tour of the city of St. Gallen. We're gonna show you some of the highlights that there are there to see and do. So let's go. Look at those little kids crossing the street all by themselves and how that big truck just stopped for them. Did you guys just see that? Those were little, I don't know, five, six year olds. There was no mom, no dad. They were crossing the road by themselves and you see that all the time in Switzerland. You don't see that in any country, any country in the world. We've never ever seen that before. But here you see that all the time and then the little kindergarten kids, they put these little, um, jackets on kind of like construction workers so that cars can see them a little bit better and it's just so cute because <laughs> they're just walking in the streets by themselves coming back home from school amazing <laughs> Wait, how many chocolatariums or chocolate museums have you been to? Many, 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 but you can never get tired of chocolate. Never, never. get tired of cho Swiss chocolate. And I feel like this Swiss chocolate is one that we've kind of left out because we don't really get it. We've never it. been here before, and it's like the minor brand and a different brand, so we're going to go find out and see what it tastes like. So just so you guys know, so this museum is a good 20-minute drive from St. Gallen. But worth it. Oh yeah, totally worth it, I'm sure. We don't even know yet, but we'll we're, see. we're sure. Look at all the cowbells. Let's go. Let's go. So pricing to go in is about 14 for an adult, eight for kids, and then there is a family deal. Here we go. It's like Willy Wonka, it's a secret door, girl. The secret door opens to the secret chocolate area. Ooh. So yeah, one of the secret ingredients, not just is the cacao that they get from places like Peru, but it's the Swiss milk because they get it from the cows who are enjoying all the pastures up in the mountains with herbs and flowers and all that. This one is 
dark chocolate and espresso. Mm. So good. could see all the countries and how many kilos of chocolate they eat per year. At the end they have all these recipes that you can come and get. So I picked a winner out of all the chocolates we tried and mine is the espresso coffee one. So it gives you a boost and it makes you feel good and it's dark chocolate so it's healthy right? So in the Swiss grocery stores you don't really find this brand as much at least where we live. And here at the factory, you get the most amazing prices. You get to sample it all and you get a good deal on them. So definitely highly recommended to come check this really out. Really good. So we're right now in the downtown of St. Gallen. We're gonna go explore, so let's go. UNESCO Visitor Center because they have the oldest library here. That's what it's going to look like on the inside. Oh, it's too little. Basically, they're fully decorated and all over St. Gallen. You see these beautiful window fronts like this, totally sculpted out. So this is just one. We're going to do a whole tour of the old town to show you. And basically, it looks like a number eight on the map, the way the old town is. allowed to film. So we'll just insert some pictures for you. We just discovered something new. I'm wondering, That's comment nice. below if you know what this is. We just found Goliath. Goliath. You know, the girl said, how do we know? Because it says Goliath up there on the That's wall. That's not me, I usually gas. This here is the other part of the old town so the old town basically forms an eight so this is the top part of the eight so in Europe they have something like pharmacies and then they have still something that's called a droguerie and the difference is is the pharmacy you buy your pharmacy medicine and the droguerie's are more so for herbal things or natural type of remedies so there is a difference between the two and they still have the two all over here in Switzerland. So we're 
everyone knows the Lion King. Well, here it's really hard to say, as you can see. Koning der Loen. That's not hard. Der Koning How big is it? Koning der Koning. 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 I think we need to learn some German. <laughs> So this area of this city is basically created from an artist called Pipi Lotti Riest and she basically made it so that it's like an outdoor living room. It looks like Alice in Wonderland. Pretty magical. visiting so many chocolate factories we thought it would be a good idea to stop the Swiss and ask them why they like their Swiss chocolate so much because they are the ones that consume the most chocolate in the world yeah, so let's, do it. let's go find some people um, so far the few people that I've asked do not want to be on YouTube and so I'm having a challenge finding someone let's go try some more so I can ask you now why you like Swiss chocolate so much <laughs> because it's Swiss chocolate. It's a must be if you if you're Swiss. If you're Swiss, you have yeah, to like it. You have to like it. <laughs> I like Swiss chocolate because I think it's common sense actually as a Swiss person to eat Swiss chocolate. Thank you. No problem. But I don't really know. I think it's in our DNA. So it's in your DNA. You just are born liking chocolate. Yes, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh no! Nobody wants to be. No, not many people want to be on video. I feel like we've asked, I don't know, like nine or ten, and they don't like to be on video. So out of ten, we got three. Sorry, guys. I will try and find some more people because there's got to be a reason they like the Swiss chocolate. Why do you love Swiss chocolate? I like Swiss chocolate because it makes me feel good. Swiss <laughs> chocolates because are healthy. They're healthy. It's healthy for yes. you. <laughs> Very good. I like Swiss chocolate because it's, I think it's different, it's unique and uh, the production is also different and the flavor, mainly the flavor. That's Swiss. why. So why do you like Swiss chocolate so much? Because it has good quality. Everywhere in Switzerland is like this where you have city and then literally within seconds you've got nature and picnic areas and it's just beautiful. What a surprise this is. So it's essentially a lake above St. Gallen where you can come and swim and enjoy the water. It looks like here they play some water volleyball or water soccer whatever you call that how cool is that these guys are going really tough to swim out. in Switzerland do you see men walking up a hill like that like, there's no tomorrow. He's going so fast. He's about 90 years old. Yeah, diving boards, so you can dive in. That's so cool. Just above here, we're gonna have the most... Yeah, I can hear the cowbells. But I feel like we're gonna have the most magnificent view. Yeah, we are. Wow. I feel like I'm going up into space. Cool! You can nature in the city. Wow. Oh my gosh. The cows and the city.
Thanks for watching our tour of St. Gallen, Switzerland. Please subscribe and give us a big thumbs up. And comment down below where you're watching from. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.